started coaching at uh, my high school, which is Mount Carmel High School in uh, Chicago, Illinois. Um, from, from there, I played college football at Lake Forest College, uh, which is a Division three school just north of Chicago. Uh, right after I graduated, I got back into coaching, uh, going to my alma mater, Mount Carmel. I was there for one season, uh, and then I took a job at uh, a Division two school, Kentucky Wesleyan College. I was a uh, special teams coordinator and linebackers coach there for two seasons. Then uh, I went back to uh, Chicago to uh, Catholic School Marist High School. I was a defense coordinator there uh, for two seasons. Then I went back to Mount Carmel uh, for two years and coached running backs. And, uh, the season before last, I was the offense coordinator at Ave Maria under Kevin Joyce. And the season uh, first as the head coach. There's a lot more responsibilities, uh, obviously. Uh, you know, it's not just worrying about one side of the ball, it's uh, about worrying about, uh, right now it's 116 young men and uh, 10 coaches on a day-to-day on -day basis and making sure we're kind of getting the, the most out of everybody. Well, I saw, uh, you know, I, I saw a group of young men that, uh, you know, went out there confident and uh, we got our cages rattled a little bit. and. Uh, Basically, what we got to be able to do is, is, is kind of put bad plays behind us and, and move forward and make good things happen for us. And uh, so I think that's a lot of the, the, the growing up that, that we need to do as a program is, uh, you know, not, not have a snowball effect of, of bad things, of getting back to basics, uh, you know, running, blocking, tackling, uh, you know, because these guys have taken thousands of reps now on all the plays and, and all the things that they have to do. And, uh, just being able to get back to, to, to the good basics is uh, kind of what I saw after the game. The offense and, and Coach LaFerro, offense coordinator and his staff, they've done a great job. And, you know, uh, something that they've implemented, uh, and, and that's a big part to them, is really tempo of a football game, of uh, knowing what, when to go fast, uh, when to go slow, and, and, and obviously when to change it up. And, just the exciting thing and the thing that I've been, uh, you know, observing all this time is our new players. Uh, you know, we do have a handful of freshmen that are that are helping us out. So uh, getting to see those guys, uh, you know, intermix with the guys that we had from last year has really been, the, uh, you know, the fun thing to watch because obviously you spend a long time uh, recruiting uh, needs for, for your team. And, and being able to see that, uh, the offense has, has done a great job of that. And, they do a good job of getting the ball spread around the yard. They uh, they throw it deep, they throw it short, they, they hand it off between tackles and, and get it out onto the perimeter. So it's an exciting brand uh, of offense to watch. One of the offensive players uh, that that's stood out to me is uh, freshman offensive guard Ulysses Marquez. Uh, he's from uh, Christopher Columbus High School, and uh, everybody calls him you, but. Uh, he, he practices, he approaches the game like a, like a veteran and not like a freshman. He is a, a very physical kid, uh, but, he, but he's also a very, very quiet kid. Um, but I just marvel at the way that, that he plays the game of football and for being a college true freshman, just uh, how he gets in there and, and gets in the mix with people is, is pretty awesome to see. Um, we also have uh, a couple of freshman quarterbacks, uh, Clayton Euchre. Uh, he's from St. Vincent St. Mary's in Akron, Ohio. A uh, big, tall kid, and you know he uh, he does a great job of spreading the ball around, getting it to open people, and uh, he he loves to throw it up top. And then uh, this past weekend, Anthony Clay, freshman from Miami Northwestern, uh, exciting guy. He can do it with uh, with his arm and his legs, so he's a he's a lot of fun to watch. And both those guys, there's going to be a lot of competition uh, at that position for for years to come. Just watched a little bit of, of uh, Warner's film. You know, obviously, uh, you know their their first couple games. They're they're playing, um, you know, some some bigger schools. They played a couple one double A schools, and obviously they played uh, Weber uh, International in their neighborhood rivalry game. But it's uh, it's going to be a lot of kids. Uh, you know, some kids that we had targets on, and in, uh, in the recruiting game, and just a lot of kids that already know a lot of our players too. So it's going to be a uh, a, a very interesting game from that aspect, that aspect, and and uh, they're certainly going to have nothing to lose uh, when when we go up there and play them. And from
from, from everything I, that I've seen. It's going to be a great atmosphere, and they're really just happy to have a football program, and, and they, they want to prove that, that they belong. Well, basically, it's uh, the, the National Coaches Federation, the AFCA, uh, and, and, and their, their president, Grant Taft, uh, had reached out to us, and they're, they're really doing it all across college football to, to bring awareness um, you know, to, of the disease and uh, trying to raise some money to, to figure out a cure um, so we can you know, kind of overcome it and help out as many people as we can. And as soon as I got that, I was you know, all for uh, trying to help out in, in, in any way that we could. So just uh, wearing, wearing a patch and honoring those people and, and hopefully raising some, some money for a great cause is, is what we can do that weekend. It was truly one of a kind uh, playing the Florida Stingrays, a semi-professional team. And, uh, I, I met their uh, team president, Jay Lawrence, who was a, who was a great guy. He, he reached out to me when I got the head coaching job, and I went out there and watched him practice um, you know, late in the spring because that's when their season uh, takes place. So I got to go out there and talk to their guys and uh, see their practice and uh, just a lot of love and passion for the game of football and, and those men. Uh, you know, that played, and then he spoke to me about uh, possibly playing our guys, and uh, I thought it would be a great opportunity because uh, obviously with a, with a roster size a little over 100, you know, we want to get reps for each and every one of our players. And uh, so I saw it as a great opportunity for guys to get out there and get game snaps, and uh, they, uh, they're they taking place in a, in, a, in a kind of a movie. They call it Journeyman, and they had the camera crew come out and interview some of our guys, and you know, they're going through the whole process of showing what a semi-professional football player does and, and all that stuff. So it, it was great to be a part of that. And, uh, and, and really, our kids, our kids played great. Um, you know, they had a lot of fun uh, being able to play games here on campus. It was, it was great to, uh, you know, get a big chunk of the student body out to come support us and also members of, of the Ave Maria community to, you know, just come right down the street and watch uh, some college football. Yeah, it's going to bring a lot of excitement uh, to the area having having our team play uh, games right here on campus. Um, it's exciting for the kids. Uh, our guys are pumped to, you know, re really get more of a, a, a of support behind them uh, having to play at high school fields. It, it wasn't, uh, you know, the easiest thing to to get people from the community or from the university to come out, and that's a, kind of a commitment that we made uh, as a football team. We wanted to support our athletic uh, department as a whole and our university as a whole. So any, anytime you come to home basketball games here at the Galasano Fieldhouse, you know, you're going to see 100 football players, you know, dressed in crazy stuff, yelling like madmen. Uh, and, and pretty much what it is is to create an atmosphere, um, you know, that it's going to be a long day when you're here on Ave Maria uh, University competing against uh, athletic teams. And so that, that's something that, that we hope to get to uh, from our point. And, it's going to save us a lot of headaches as far as uh, you know loading stuff up for home games and you know re really traveling a couple miles instead of just just walking out of our door here. So it's going to be a great thing and it's going to be uh, you know great for the future when we have recruits on campus and they get to see uh, you know the, the beautiful things that are going up here and and how much uh, growth is is going on at this place. It's going to be something special.